and welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Today we're going to look at the magic of the blob brush and the eraser tools. Welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Uh, today we're going to look at some really cool things that's going to make you do amazing drawings very quickly in Adobe Illustrator. One of my favorite tools, uh, the blob brush. Um, and the blob brush in conjunction with the eraser tool can create amazing drawings in minutes. All right, uh, as long as you know what you're doing and know what you're looking for, I'm gonna show you everything about it, okay? Let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, what I want you to do when you get a second, search the internet, all right? Um, have fun searching the internet and find uh, some kind of teddy bear tons of things to choose from I chose this one okay uh, with me choosing that one I went ahead and put it on my thing put it in a layer all right got a little pretty layer and a locked layer and uh, I made another layer by creating a new layer okay and I have that layer layer which is bear drawings okay I have a little example to show you a little later, but for now, let's start with this, okay? So I have my background locked. Um, I also, if you notice, I have a couple other windows that we're going to need to have open while we're doing this. One, obviously, is the layers. Then we have swatches, so we can choose and colors and play around with it. And then lastly, the pathfinder um, to deal with any uh, problems may arise while we're using the uh, block brush tool, okay? So... Uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, choose a few colors I might want to use. Okay, I like choosing the colors first; makes it a little easier to do it. I can see there's multiple colors around here. We've got the nose, the dark nose, the black from the eyes. We've got this. We've got lighter colors over here or darker colors, depending on how you're looking at the insets, the pads of the feet. Okay, many couple different colors to choose from. You could either choose from the mini colors over here in the swatch panel, or uh, you could do what I did here, which is to actually select the colors from the drawing itself. This is what I did there. To do that, you just come over here to the eyedropper tool, which is I, right? Select it and literally just select a color. If you're happy with the color that you selected, which is right here or here, you can click and drag it and actually add it as an additional color okay so I went ahead and I selected all the different colors and I added to to them okay so we've got all these cool colors that I can choose from right here alright uh, so let's go ahead and get started uh, let's get a go ahead and get her introduced to the blob brush tool blob brush tool is right here okay uh, it's underneath the paintbrush tool, so we have the paintbrush tool, so if I click and hold, it's going to give me either the paintbrush or blob brush. We're going to use the blob brush. Love the blob brush. Shift B, obviously, as you notice, is what you need if you want to go quickly to it, okay? Now that we have our blob brush, you'll see that uh, it got a little circle here, all right? Uh, it looks like a paintbrush where we can draw with it, Okay? Um, if you notice, just like any of the other tool, if I double click it, I'll have tons of options. Okay? I have keep selected, merge only with selection, different sizes you can choose from, the angle that it's drawing from, okay? Um, the roundness, because you might want to actually have an oblong. I'm going to keep it round because I find it easier to work with. I'm going to go ahead and make the angle. Uh, at a perfect zero degrees right there in the center and keep the size as 24 for right now fidelity which is super important is is how round it is and in a minute you're gonna see the differences between the fidelities uh, as we're drawing okay I usually like to keep it not super smooth but close to smooth let's go ahead and start over here to start with so we can notice the difference okay I'm also going to unselect these okay and we'll notice the difference between the keep select and merge only selection as we're working through it. Okay, so I'm gonna press OK. So again, to stay with me, make sure you're unselect keep selected and unselect merge only selection. That way you can <coughs> keep up with me as I'm doing this drawing. Okay. So 
<coughs> one thing to keep in mind as you're working on this is the size of the tool. So if I zoom in here, okay, control, I use control plus to go ahead and zoom in, all right. As I zoom in this thing and I want to actually draw the head, all right, I have the circle which is going to show me what it's going to, how big the drawing. Now I can increase that size by using um, these bracket keys. Okay, so if I'm holding the bracket key, I can make it bigger and smaller. Now, if you're unsure what the bracket key looks like, let me show you. Look, bracket key is right down here. Right underneath the plus sign, you have the bracket keys left and the bracket keys right. Okay, so if I want to increase the size, I press the right. If I want to decrease the size, I see left. Okay, this is about the right size. I'm happy with that, all right? That's almost any tool, but I'm just giving you a good example, okay? So let me go ahead and draw this head. I am gonna go ahead and draw, just like I would if I'm doing a paintbrush, okay? I'm gonna draw right along the edge to getting this middle part. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm gonna let go, okay? I'm going to press control Y so we can see what I just drew. Okay. You can see that I drew the head. Okay. Uh, it's not always exactly perfect, but you can see I have here, I have the middle section. Okay. But if you notice the, what the blob brush is doing, this is building a shape. All right. So I'm building a shape from this blob brush tool. As I'm adding from the blob brush tool, I can actually keep going, filling on in the insides. All right, and creating another shape. So if I press Control Y again, you notice that I'm actually building onto the shape. Oh, look, I'm creating a shape from my drawing. All right, and using the bear as an example, I can get a pre approximation of what the actual shape should be fairly quickly. Okay, uh, one thing that I want you to keep in mind is if I click on it, okay, you'll notice that I have the selection but I can treat this like any other shape. That means that I have a center part. So if I press the direct selection tool and click just the inside line, I can delete it and instantly fill it in. There's a tip to make this go really fast. All right. And that's something I want you to practice on. You're doing it. But if you notice though, right here in the corner, it's kind of not exactly perfect. Okay. A couple ways to different fix it. Let me show you uh, uh, one way that we can fix it, and that is uh, to keep drawing to fix it. If I make a mistake and go too far into it, here's where it gets kind of cool. I can actually go in and select right underneath it and click the eraser tool and actually erase my mistake from the shape. Look at that. So I can actually erase and add to and erase and add to and create these awesome shapes based on what I just did. Okay. Now, what I told you though, though that we're creating this, sometimes to make this easier for me, we're going to increase the fidelity. All right. And what I mean by that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Double click on the thing and increase the fidelity. I'm going to make it smoother. So by making it smoother now, I can go ahead and do the drawing one more time. And it's going to compensate for uh, me not exactly getting it super smooth. It's going to compensate a little bit for it. And let me see what happens when I let go. Okay. Did you notice that it moved? It actually made it a smoother shape, okay? Which sometimes you want and sometimes you want. Since I'm getting a, a, a fairly good looking and I don't necessarily want it to be, um, uh, I want it to look a little bit more perfected because of the kind of uh, artsy bear that I'm trying to make, I went ahead and I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the center and now I'm gonna add the ears. Let me go ahead and add the ears. Okay. Uh, I could delete the center or just fill it in. Okay. 
go over here. I'm clicking and I'm dragging. I am not letting go of that mouse to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, boom. Now if I press Control Y, you'll see that I have one whole shape. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Oh, look, there's a problem here on the bottom. That's okay. I'm going to use my eraser tool and erase that little bottom. Try to make it a little better. I like it. Okay. So now you can see what we're doing. Now, um, to keep working on this, you're going to find this to be a problem. Because if I want to add in uh, a different shape on here, okay, I want to be able to do it. But if I do it this way, what it's going to do is it's actually just going to add a shape. I can't do anything, so that's not going to work. So I could put this in a different layer, but you're going to find that that can be very time consuming. So what I like to do is actually click both of these now. So it's going to merge only with the selection, so the selected object that I have, and it's going to keep the object selected that I have. Okay? I'm going to show you how that works. So now I want to do this ear. First thing I want to do, select this, give the opacity 50% so we can see what's behind it. Unselect it by clicking off of it. Now it's unselected. That's important. Very, very important. Unselect, unselect, unselect. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the blob brush and paint this part of the ear. Okay. There's that. Oh, look. It's, it's actually selecting this thing, but that's okay. Painting over here. Now I have another object. I'm going to go ahead and do this object. That object that object and now oh look I have it selected that's the problem do you see what just happened there because I had this eyeball selected and I kept drawing it it didn't create a different shape so I'm going to undo that I'm going to unselect the eyeball to make sure it's not selected and then draw this now here's where it gets a little funny let's say I'm just going to stop right here and I accidentally leave it up. Do I need to redo the drawing? No, it's still selected, so I could keep going. Okay, look, I still made the same shape. Now let's just say that, um, now that I have that going, if I unselect it and I keep drawing, thinking I'm still adding to the snout, if you notice, it created a different shape. Well, that's not gonna work, okay? So that means that I need to select the object that I want to do and then keep painting. Boom. Now I have one object. That other object is behind it. It's still there. Look. Okay. Control Y. See the outlines. I can see the outline. I can see this is still there. Haha. <laughs> one something that doesn't people don't know is I can select this object that's behind it. Even though it's behind it, I can't see, look. Now I can right click it, arrange it, and bring it to the front. Magical, keep that behind it. I'm gonna put this back to 100% and we're gonna color, okay? So, using some of the colors I did before, here, I'm gonna keep these three objects a little lighter, okay? We're gonna keep them a little lighter for here. This is going to be the darker brown, and look, I'll just make these black, and we're creating the bear almost instantly. These are all separate shapes that I can mess with, move around a little bit. I'm going to move it a little around a little bit with my keyboard. It's still a shape. I can erase this because I'm erasing the selection. Look, so you can quickly adjust make edits to and make these different cool things with the blob brush and the eraser tool to really quickly make this bear all right if you notice i did this very very fast okay this takes practice playing around with noticing all the different buttons that you have when you double click on the broad brush to make sure that you have the right selection that you want to use. It's, it's using the right paint brush you want to do, that you're actually doing the roundness that you want, the angle that you want, okay? 
it's going to take some playing around, but you can create some amazing quick stuff. Now, I'll press Control Zero, go back on here. I'm going to go back to the layer. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the layer. I'm going to go ahead and unselect this for a second. And look, there's one of my completed bear. To kind of help with this, I even added, okay, I even added uh, an outline to help separate some of these shapes that I made, okay? I think it actually turned out really cool. One last thing I want to leave you with. If you ever have any problems with this, you're going to want to pull up the Pathfinder tool, okay? So, I'm going to pull up the Pathfinder tool, all right? See if I can pull it up. Hold on. Which is right here. I'm going to pull up this Pathfinder tool. So if I create another shape, okay, here, and I want to add it to this ear, you can select both the shapes, okay, and press the shape mode to make them one shape. So if you have it where you have two different shapes that you want to merge together, Always refer back to the Pathfinder tool, merge those shapes or delete different shapes um, if the blob brush isn't exactly doing what you want or you just want to merge some of the shapes together to create another shape. Always go refer back to the Pathfinder tool, okay? So I made this really cool uh, bear. I hope you like it. I can't wait to see uh, different bears. Share them on here on the YouTube page. Let me know what you made. Uh, I appreciate it and... Um, We'll see you next time on uh, Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Thanks a lot.